Well, I've always collected records. I mean, I still have, you know, the first records I ever bought. The first record I bought was Jimi Hendrix's Greatest Hits. Yeah, this is the original I have. And uh, it has the poster inside. We should go to the Jimmy Bryant thing because uh, that was a huge influence. Two guitars country style. Yeah, this is a real holy grail one. The fastest guitar in the country. I go to the ballot box and vote, yes, he is the fastest guitar in the country. For those of us who hate clowns, I don't know. But it's a good album. Well, I was in uh, San Francisco in a great place. I had a black Cadillac. I drove all over the place. Everyone had moved to New York that I knew. And so I came here and I was scared. I, I didn't know New York at all. It was a tough move. I moved for a couple weeks and slept on a couch. And then a room opened up in this apartment. This apartment at the time was rented by Lee Alexander. He said, hey, look, the room's opening up. We're going to go out on tour. I'm going out with this uh, girl, Nora. She has a record coming out on Blue Note. Nora hit it, and I was so happy for them because they're such nice people. I thought she was an outstanding talent. You say or didn't say. I started it's playing in the you. Little Willies with Nora. Baby. And I had a regular gig at the Knitting Factory. I met Dan Reeser and Tim Lenzel, and that trio just clicked. And we made two records, American Hips and then Heaven is Creepy. I also toured with Martha Wainwright, which was great. I saw the world and got to play for great audiences. Played with Pete Townsend at Shepherd's Bush. I played a Princeton Reverb, too. And it held its own. <laughs> One of the things that's kept me here is the residencies. One great thing about having the residency is I can play with all the talented friends and you know musicians I know. Um, a lot of people that I play with out here in New York, I originally met in the Bay Area. Nels Klein was one of those people. Uh, it's a thrill to play with them. And it's very free. And I think the rhythm section of Josh Dion and Chris Morrissey allows us to just go to real extremes. A stage to, 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 to work on our craft. One, two, one, two, three, four. A new band I've been playing with is Honey Fingers. It has Johnny Lamb and Luca Benedetti, Roy Edwin Williams, and uh, David Speranza. And we've been doing all my songs mostly from the 10 Gallon Cats era, and these guys are just breathing fire into it. And uh, it's been really challenging to just try and keep up with these guys. We play at Barbez the fourth Sunday of every month. And we play the 55 bar, which has a great history. When I got here 12 years ago, it, it was so vibrant and so inspiring, and I think it's still hanging tough.